What's going on people? We are doing a full day of eating. I have never done one of these on my channel. We're just gonna go through what I eat, what my go-to meals, roughly how many calories I'm eating because people are just wondering like what my diet is at the moment in terms of training and nutrition and protein and all that lovely stuff. So I'm gonna do a full day of eating on the channel. I've never done one of those. So I'm excited and you can just see what you guys can put into your diet. Also, like I've always wanted to do one of these, but with eating is very like relative to yourself. So for example, I'm 6'6 and I'm 118 kilos. You could be like 6'1 and 95 kilos. So our dietary requirements are gonna be completely different. So just take these in terms of not as the gospel truth not as like you need to eat this amount of food rather you can eat these type of food to achieve what you want to achieve on the pitch or in the gym so without further ado we're going to go straight to meal number one Right, for meal number one, we have got overnight oats. Let me just get a little bit closer and show you. Yeah, there you go. And it's got berries and it's got cinnamon. And I got shown this in terms of like, I always struggled to find what I wanted to eat for breakfast in terms of, I didn't want to eat something that was too filling or made me feel too full. However, I needed something that's going to give me like quite a bit of energy until I have lunch later on in the day. So someone's recommend, recommended uh, overnight oats to me. And ever since I've started it i'm addicted to it it's like my first thing i have uh, i don't really see myself having anything else it's not too filling like i hate the feeling of feeling full like i can't move but i don't get hungry until lunchtime anyway so i feel like it's like doing what it needs to do in terms of calories i estimate it's about four to five hundred calories i've added like half scoop of uh, protein in there so that's like about 20, 25 grams of protein on top of that. So for me, this is a good one to go to in terms of if you're struggling for one, time for breakfast, and two, like what's gonna be nutritionally beneficial to you, overnight oats. It's quite easy to make. All you need to do is just a couple of days worth of oats in a bowl. I add soy milk, you just add regular milk if you want. Then you just cinnamon, berries, then you add a little bit of honey on top just to give it a little bit of sweetness to it but that is meal number one so i'm gonna uh, tuck into that delete this and crack on with the rest of my day boom that's the worst two hours of the week out the way. I hate that lecture. As you can see, I was doing a little bit of studying after breakfast. Plan is now I'm gonna head to the gym, do a walk bike, do an upper body session, and I'll come back and show you what my meal is after the gym. So I'll catch you when I'm back from the gym. Right, I've just come back from the gym. I'm gonna hit up the shower and I'll talk to you about my second meal of the day talk to you behind the reasoning behind it and why I have it for my post gym or post training meal. So I'll catch you when I'm out the shower. Right, what we've got here is six meatballs. They're gonna go into that oven over there for about 20 minutes and five minutes before they come out, I'm just gonna make um, a tomato sauce and couscous to add with the salad and that will be what I'll have for meal number two. Right, for meal number Two, what we've got here is got feta and avocado salads, we've got portion of couscous and six 
meatballs. Fresh, as you can see, it's still steaming. All right, the reason why I go for this meal after gym or trading is because it's got like, the carbs to replenish glycogen stores, meatballs from a protein source, and the salad to hit my micronutrients. You know, we're talking about like, vitamins and minerals that you don't always get in like your protein or carb sources. If I'm gonna have an estimate, that would probably be around six, 700 calories. And yeah, man, like it's again, like we're talking about good sources of calories, you know, instead of like going towards McDonald's or KFC. So I'ma delete this meal. I've got a little bit of uni work to crack on with. Then next time you see me, I will be making meal number three, which will be my last meal of the day. There we have it. So last meal we have is eight grilled chicken wings, some slightly burnt sweet potato fries with a little bit of salad. If we're gonna hazard a guess again, this one's between seven to eight hundred calories. This meal, and yeah, like obviously, like with chicken wings, you know, people don't think you can have them in a healthy diet. You can. Depends how you cook them. You know, having them fried, of course, ain't gonna be healthy, but getting them grilled, you know, the potatoes they've got, the sweet potatoes they've got in the oven, a little bit of salad. There you go, you can have foods you like, and it's very, very healthy. So, let me get into this. The wings are looking very, very succulent, if they would like to focus. And I will catch you probably as I am wrapping up this video. Right, meal three has been deleted. I hope this video was very, very informative and you learn a lot in terms of what you have in your diet to build a nice, solid and balanced diet. If you got this far in the video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. We've recently hit 500 subscribers, so thank you very much. I feel like I need to do a giveaway in it. Like, I think that's like what everyone does in it when you hit like a milestone. So I have a little think and I will do a giveaway in the next video, I think. But anyway, I'm John 4 and I will catch you in the next video.